So the next factor is domestic violence. And this is a big one in the eyes of the judge. If there has been significant domestic violence in your relationship with the other parent, then that may um, on its own be enough for one party or the other not to get any sort of legal custody at all. It may be a basis for a court to award one of the parties sole legal decision-making authority. So some of the things you should be asking yourself when it comes to domestic violence is, did your child ever see any domestic violence happening? Give details, dates, times, and what the child actually saw. Um, was the domestic violence documented? And by documented, I mean, are there police reports? Are there restraining orders that have been filed and served? Are there criminal convictions? If the domestic violence is documented, but you have to get your hands on this evidence, then we're going to talk about evidence a little more in the next lesson. If your child has been exposed to domestic violence, how has it affected the child emotionally? Um, is a child afraid of the person who has inflicted the domestic violence? If your child is affected in any way by domestic violence in the relationship, the court needs to hear about it. Also, if your child is in danger because of domestic violence, the court wants to know and you need to take whatever measures you need to take to protect your child.